We did a thing. We bought a couch off Amazon. So, we bought a couch on Amazon. Yeah, but it doesn't really look like those couches. I don't know how they get couches in a box. I don't know, we're gonna find out. We've never done this before. I've been a little scared though. And I and I had thought about it for a very, very long time um, before we pulled the trigger on it. And then you were like, well, let's take the chance. Because they're great prices. The couches on Amazon are fantastic prices. Right. But looking at this box, I'm a little concerned. Yeah, it's not really that big. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, oh, is this a chair? So we thought, well, let's, <laughs> let's do a video and share our experience because we've never done it before. We've never opened one of these boxes. We've never put a couch together in our life. You want to open it up and see how it goes? Okay. Let's I'm scared. It. Let's open it up. And let's see what putting the couch together is all about. All right. which hopefully it's simple but it says it takes two people which makes sense then it says it takes 30 minutes right now <laughs> it's 210 right so let's see if it takes 30 minutes and once you get these out apparently in the bottom of them down there are components inside it says it right here thumb bolts legs back frame back cushion that are required for assembly and boom and there they are. There's there's uh, various things in here, the back of it, along with um, various parts that you need. So don't forget that. Okay, so we got everything out of the box, and it looks like there is a there's two main pieces, the left and the right side of the couch. It says L and R, and these are your backs, but they have things in them that we believe are supposed to come out. So there's that, and then there's obviously, and I don't know what they call them. The directions are over there, but like little pedestals for legs. Cat, the legs. Couch legs. Couch legs. The round ones are the center. Okay. Well, I've got a few bolts. Really not a lot of pieces to put together here to be covers honest. Covers. That's pretty simple. Covers. Cushions. We opened cushion. one. We opened one. And we it was obviously vacuum sealed. We are gonna open the other one. Because it was pretty cool. glad they're big full cushions. <laughs> I was worried we were going to have to wait for about a week yes. for them to expand. So. Or they were going to stay flat. All right. So on the back of the base of the couch, this is where this, this actually, there's one on each side. This actually just inserts right down in there. The, so, hard, the hardest part is seeing them. The hardest part is seeing them. And then you flip that back up and take this bolt. Because we've already done the other side. <laughs> and you just stick it in and tighten it up. Okay, so now we've taken the couch, got two pieces, and we've cleaned them up. That's what the directions say to do. And you've got three bolts is all you have left, but all three of them go right here. One of them doesn't have any uh, like nuts or washers with it, so it's just like this because this part is actually threaded. So you just go through there and thread that through there until it's good and tight. And now we're on the bottom and you can see right here, the bolt actually just goes through. You got a nut that tightens it from the other side to keep it tight. And of course the washer as well. So I put the washer on the bottom one and then uh, and just Okay, we're still on the bottom of the couch, but one of the things about the backs is it has that, that fabric that comes down, but they've put this Velcro strip right here that goes across, so you just tighten that back down with that Velcro. Kind of nice. like that. And, uh, and then put your legs on. You got two center legs right here and two for each corner that look like that. So let's get those put on. We are done with the assembling of the couch and we are going to put our 
my cushions on, but we have to first put these covers on and it's actually got on there stickers that are um, on the bottoms of these. So bottom, front. Obviously we want our zipper to the back. So this is gonna be our front because there is a seam that comes across here instead of a zipper. And so we're gonna get all of our covers on and get those put on the couch and we should be done. Okay, we are done. And uh, it is almost three o'clock exactly. So that's 50 minutes, but, but in all defense, we've been videoing. So really you could do this in 30 minutes. So uh, we like that part. Another part I really like is that it didn't take any tools, no screwdrivers, no hammers, anything like that. Just anybody could put this couch together. The color is great. This one is kind of, to me, it reminds me of a gray denim and the fabric is really nice. It's soft. Um, I was very concerned about how it would, how the couch would feel. The cushions are full. As you can see, they aren't um, flat. They're very full and they fill out the covers really well. And it is very soft to sit on and um, just a nice couch overall. Again, though, if you do really large, oversized furniture, this is gonna be really small to you. Our couches, our previous couch was just, um, it, was, it was on the smaller side anyway, and so this is slightly smaller than it, but we live in a small home, and the scale of our living room, this actually is ideal. There's one negative that I see, and it's not a deal breaker, but it is a negative. The cushions are not reversible. They um, have Velcro and black on the back, which is nice because it holds them in place. But if you get a stain on this side, you don't have the option to just flip the cushion and have a fresh clean side.